Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Thor Freedom Traveler A27. This is a great class A if you're looking for something, you know, you want a shorter bus, you're just looking to get into it, you want something with a lot of amenities but don't want to pay a small fortune, then this is one you certainly want to pay attention to. Start off right over here on the kitchen. So you'll see that you get some decent prep space. They give you this right here as well as a covered cooktop here. So you're able to utilize all that. And they still manage to give you a double bowl sink. So that way, you know, it's easier to wash and rinse your dishes. You also have a pull-out faucet here, again, making life a little bit easier on you. And it's a nice quality faucet. It doesn't feel, you know, cheap or chintzy. You can uh, feel that there is some quality to that one. Beautiful backsplash on here, can certainly appreciate that. You know, nice aesthetic piece there to it. Then right up above that is the TV. And at first you might think, well, this is a silly place for it, but directly across the way in this slide is your sofa, and right behind that is the dinette. So that way, you know, if you are sitting there, you have a pretty good shot right here to the TV. Or maybe you want to be a cooking expert. You know, you're sitting here cooking, watching your favorite cooking show right there. Definitely can't miss it. Right up top, you have a bunch of storage here. Uh, you'll see that it is strut supported. You have one right above the door here. However, this one is where your main control panel is housed as well as the control for the power bed. I will show that a little bit later when we talk about the cab. Just know that this one does have a power bed on the front uh, and it, it definitely is something that can be uh, greatly utilized and certainly help in resale even if you don't use it. But great storage right there. LED lights here in the kitchen. Again, storage up top, microwave here as well. When we come back down to the countertop, as I mentioned, three burner cooktop, this does fold up and back. There are your three burners there. Front one is high output. Oven underneath, decent size oven, so you can do a pretty good amount of baking there. Large drawer underneath that. You have a bank of three drawers right next to it. The top one here you'll see, uh, you know, it's kind of like a half drawer because the sink is there, so obviously it can only go back so far. So instead of, you know, shortening the entire drawer, they just uh, shorten it this way. But the other two are nice and big, especially this bottom one, quite deep. Underneath the sink here, you will see a big area right there, perfect for a trash can, plenty of space underneath the sink there. Uh, electrical outlet up over here as well, so if you need to plug some stuff in, there is a spot in which you can do it right there. Coming down a little bit further, you have storage up top, Dometic, or I'm sorry, Norcold fridge freezer combo here. Uh, so plenty of space in this one, cut out for some taller items. You have the big uh, drawer right down underneath there. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Large wardrobe right outside the bedroom here. Take a look at that. You see the hang rod going across, plenty of room in there. Also, if you take a look inside, you'll see some brackets. That is for the table, which I'll show you up front, but that is where your table leg and everything will be stored right there as well as the table itself. So just know that that uh, does have its own storage spot. And then underneath, you have two very deep drawers, so plenty of room for you know your jeans and everything else that you need to toss in there. When we come to the very back here, this of course is the bedroom. There is a curtain, a privacy curtain, so you can close that off uh, You know, if you do have additional guests. You have the walk around bed here, which is great. Shelves on both sides, headboard, windows, storage going all the way across the top with LED lights. Uh, you also have a window right here in the very back, which is an emergency exit. You have electrical outlets and charging stations on the sides of the bed. TV right here at the foot of the bed. So if you want to watch TV, you have the capability to do that right there in the bed. And right underneath that is your thermostat. This will control both the ducted heat as well as the ducted AC here in the A27. In the very back is the bathroom. Right on the door, you will see your uh, robe hooks or towel hooks, so you can hang those up. Right here in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. It is a porcelain bowl, so it is nice and easy to clean. It's also elevated a little bit, so you know it is a little bit easier to get off. Uh, you will see right over here is your sink, stainless steel bowl, decent size countertop as well, storage underneath. Not a ton, but you do get a little, and it also is plumbing access. You have your toilet paper holder already mounted, your uh, your towel ring right there for your hand towel, mirrored medicine cabinet right up over here. Directly above, LED lights, AC duct, there's also heat ducts on the floor in here, and then you see the vent there too. Right over here is the shower. This one, the cool thing about the Freedom Traveler folks is this shower has um, an amazing base in it. You know, you don't feel like you're gonna fall through whatsoever. Uh, it is just very solid. You will see that this uh, the shower rod itself here is curved, so that way 
when the curtain shuts, you do get a little bit more room to move around in here. As far as size, I am six foot. You see that I have no problems here standing underneath the ceiling, even more with the skylight. So, you know, you're six, five, six, six, you can stand in here and shower. You have the hand wand there too, which is mounted uh, pretty much as high as they could get it. So even, as I've said, even if you are taller, it still uh, can work for you. And then you have your shelves right there in the corner for soap, shampoo, whatever else you need. Right outside the bathroom, you will see this. In my opinion, this makes an excellent linen closet. You can see that, you know, you have big, deep drawers there. But obviously, if you need it for whatever else, you know, whether it may be clothes or if you need extra pantry space, you can use it for, like I say, pretty much anything. And then two drawers right underneath. I'll open one of those up just to give you an idea of size. You can see they're pretty, good, uh, pretty big. You have the door right here as well, so you can close off this entire area. Now, the reason that they give you both a curtain and a door is because if you close the door, you're closing off the bathroom to any guests. So you know, that's kind of a decision you're gonna have to make as far as uh, which one you wanna use or a combination of both. But I do enjoy the fact they gave you the curtain there, so at least you do have that option. Moving up a little bit further, we have the super slide right here with our dream dinette and sofa. The dream dinette, the reason they call it that is because it is a dream to convert it from a dinette into a bed. Uh, it really is pretty simple. You have a lever right underneath here. You just flip this lever over and that will allow you to push the bed down. It'll rest right here on these rails. You can see it's strut supported. Push it right back up, lock it in place, and it stays right where it's at. Uh, you'll also notice you have two seatbelts here, so you can ha legally have two riders, which is awesome. They have cup holders, so that way you don't have any beverages that are spilled. This is a leatherette material, so if you have kids, grandkids, they spill something, it's also easy cleanup. And on the one right here, take a look at this. You'll also notice big storage right there, and it's very easy to access. Large windows here, I enjoy the fact they did that too. Uh, definitely lets in a lot of natural light to the coach and you know helps open things up. You'll see LED lights underneath. You also have a speaker kind of in between the uh, dinette and the sofa there. And then storage across the entire thing above that. You will notice it's strut supported so that way it's uh, easy to use. You don't have to you know sit there and hold it with one hand while trying to get in there. Moving up a little bit further, we get into the jackknife sofa. So this also drops down into a bed. Uh, you'll notice you have two more seatbelts here, again, for additional riders. Two more cup holders there. Uh, as I mentioned, storage there with uh, the LED lights, and that is directly across from the TV. So it'll probably be the place, you know, if it's just the two of you, you'll be hanging out the majority of the time. So we take a look up front. Uh, we'll start with this right here. This is the table that I had mentioned, the table and the leg. So this is removable, so that way, you know, it's not just always there in the way. But it's great because both these seats do swivel, so you can utilize this space. You can turn this, you can play cards here, eat a quick meal here, you know, if you need to stop and just, you know, uh, house down a sandwich or something. This gives you the capability to do it. If we take a look kind of right in front of that, you will see this shroud. So the shroud there has uh, some cup holders. So, you know, three cup holders, which is great because, you know, I always have a million beverages when I'm driving. I'll have my water, my coffee, you know, maybe an energy drink or something, whatever else it may be. Uh, but I, I certainly appreciate having that many cup holders. And also this right here, this shroud is fiberglass. Most of them are carpeted. And the problem with carpet is, you know, it's a high traffic area. You're going in and out. Just like the you know, same reason they got rid of carpet in RVs, it gets dirty. So that would always get super dirty. So instead they put fiberglass there. Uh, and so what they also did is they put a neoprene layer. One of the things about the carpet is it helps a little bit with sound. So that neoprene layer kind of on the inside helps deaden a lot of that engine sound as well. So I think they did a, a great job on that. We take a look at the driver's side right over here, the armrest, you'll see an additional cup holder. You also have your power mirror controls. You'll see that it has heated mirrors as well, which is a great feature and auto leveling. So if you know you want to level the coach out, there it is. Obviously the auto touch a button, but it does have the manual controls as well in case you are on quite the incline. Uh, you will also see the emergency start. So in the event that uh, you know your, your chassis battery is dead, you can flip that and pull off your house batteries to start up your RV so you're not stuck. <clears throat> if we take a look at the center dash console right here. You know, it kind of has this, this wood design to it. Just looks kind of nice. Uh, but the center dash is your radio. This one does have what they call HDMI mirroring. So there's an HDMI port, so you have to unplug these. They're right down in there. But what you do is you put an HDMI in there and then into your phone, and then it will mirror whatever is on your phone on here. The main reason for that is for GPS. So that way, uh, you know, you can easily, uh, you know, navigate around using like Google Maps or Waze or whatever you normally use. <clears throat> Another cool thing is right over here in the passenger side. Let me see if I can sneak my 
big butt be on this table here real quick. Uh, so right up here, this is pretty great. This flips over just like so. So as a passenger, I have this, you know, so whether I am eating a snack or if I'm working on like a tablet, laptop, whatever, I can do that right here. I have an electrical outlet on this side and then a 12 volt on the other side. The last thing I wanna talk about is the drop down bed. So this is where it is located right here. And here's essentially how it works. You have the safety pins, which I have already pulled out. Normally they're up there. You wanna make sure those are in when you're driving. Again, just to be 100% safe. So you pop those out on both sides. You open this up right here, you'll see this key. You'll turn the key to on. And then right here's the control for the bed. You have raise and lower. Obviously we're going to wanna to drop it down. So, touch the button. This is how quick it is. Uh, you know, in all reality, it's pretty fast. It's easy to make up. The thing I like about this, when it uh, drops down, you will see, is the fact that the mattress is already in here. So, uh, that way, you know, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, constantly having to blow up a mattress or anything. Just put a sheet on here, drop this down, throw a couple pillows up there, maybe a blanket, unless you already have that up there too but then they're good to go. You have a ladder, they climb up and in there. The one thing I will say, and I stopped this a little prematurely, make sure you bring your seats back right here before you drop it down, because otherwise the bed will come down on the seats. So you wanna just lean those back. Obviously I stopped it before it got there, but it does come down a little bit lower. This has a 500 pound weight capacity on there, folks, meaning it can sleep two adults. So as I mentioned, even if you don't use it, this is awesome for the resale of the RV is, uh, for itself because that way, you know, maybe if it's just the two of you that are taking it, but someone's buying it has a family, they have that extra sleeping capacity. Again, it's just always nice to have something for guests. And this is way easier to make up, in my opinion, than either the dinette or the sofa. And it gets people kind of out of the way. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Freedom Traveler A27. Starting off, folks, this one is built on the Ford F53 chassis. It houses the Triton 6.8 liter V10 engine, putting out 320 horse and 460 foot-pounds of torque. You'll see the giant one-piece windshield right up front here. It's one of the great things about the Class A. You have that big piece of glass, gives you an awesome view of the road. You're able to see over a lot of other cars that are in front of you, which can help, you know, a lot of times you're stopping distances, you'll be able to see slowdowns and stuff a ways ahead. You have the bi-directional mirrors right here on the side with your side view camera. So that way when you turn the blinker on, uh, right on your center dash, you'll be able to see what's right here, just giving you one added piece of visibility to help cover some of those blind, blind spots when you are switching lanes. You'll notice the power awning, touch a button to roll it out, same thing to go right back in. It also has LED light strip on there, which is great. The main entrance is a power step, grab handle right here. When we open this up, you'll see the step comes out. You also have uh, the screen. Cool thing I like about the screen is the fact that the handle, you know, it doesn't matter which way you open it, you don't have to constantly have this open and close. The door will open so that way you're not getting a bunch of bugs and stuff flying in and out of the camper. Make our way back a little bit further, we open this up and there is your entertainment system. So TV right there in the center with the sound bar underneath, great sound quality on here. It is Bluetooth capable so that way you can pair to that if you want to play some music or something else out here. If you need to plug anything else in, you have dual electrical outlets right here. So that'll be the place to do it. So, you know, if you want to be the nice guy and set up uh, breakfast for everyone, you know, put up a table and an electric griddle or something out here, that'll uh, give you the capability to do it. <clears throat> One of the great things about a Class A is the storage. So here you can see as part of it, uh, a couple of things I love about this. If you drop down, you can see if you have taller items, it can actually go all the way across. So if you need like a long ladder or, you know, skis, you know, if you're going skiing, something like that, or fishing, and you don't want to break down your rod, you know, you have that, uh, that long space right there. Also, this is a rotocast bin, so this isn't going to rust out on you. You can wash this out. You'll see there's a drain right here at the bottom. So you fill this with a bunch of wood, and you have, like, bark and everything left over. Not a problem. Just take a hose, wash it right out, wash it right out the drain there. You'll also notice that it has a light, so that way if you're getting in here at night, you can see what you're doing. So we have that compartment coming down a little bit further. You will see right here is another one, very similar to what we just saw. Again, drain right there at the bottom as well. Another thing I do want to mention is the locks on here, folks. This is not your standard like, you know, 751 lock that you have on a lot of travel trailers. This is unique to the RV. So things you have stored in there, you don't have to have any fear of people coming and stealing stuff uh, out of your garage storage. 
You take a look right here, this is the back of the refrigerator, this is the back of the furnace, but what I want to point out is a couple things. One, you'll see that they actually overlaid the graphics here to help blend it in. And probably even more importantly than that is the fact that they color match this to the fiberglass. Most manufacturers just have like a white panel or black panel that really sticks out, it's kind of an eyesore, but they wanted to make it nice and streamlined, that's exactly what they did. They color matched everything, put the graphics right over it. I think they did an awesome job. Frameless windows on the Freedom Traveler as well. Again, talking about aesthetics and looks, that certainly is a huge plus. Not only they look nicer though, but also the seals are tucked behind the glass. They're not getting nearly as beat up by the elements. And because of the way they open, it essentially tilts open like this. A lot of times, unless you have sideways rain, uh, you can keep the windows open while it's raining so you can get some airflow through the coach so it's not getting all stuffy and it'll still keep the rain out. If you plan on going somewhere you don't have a water hookup, you'll want to make sure you fill your fresh water tank. That will be where you fill it up at right there. Slide out right here, what you will notice is the fact that this one has a slide out topper on there. So that way any sticks, pine cones, uh, acorns, whatever else that fall down right on top of the topper. So when this slide does come in, all that falls off. It's not getting up there and damaging your seals up top. This one also has the Schwinn Tech slide system on here. You have that on your slides. You'll also have it on the bed inside. Uh, the one thing I will say about the Schwinn Tech slide is it's an excellent system, probably one of the best slide systems in the industry if you use it correctly. The two things you want to make sure you do are one, you want to make sure you have good voltage. So when you're operating your slides, either be plugged into shore power or have your generator running for a little bit just to make sure you have that full voltage. And two, when you're uh, running it in or out, after it's fully extended or fully retracted, hold that button for an extra two or three seconds. That will give the two motors time to sync up because uh, the Schwinsack does use dual motors, which is a good thing, you know, it gives you that extra power, but those motors have to be in sync for it to operate properly. So just make sure you give it that extra second or two and it will work very, very well for you. We take a look right here. You will notice that you have your two house batteries right here. Right next to that is your hydraulic pump. So uh, if you need to do any kind of refilling or anything, uh, you will have the canister right back here for refill. Also, if you uh, ever have any kind of failure, you can operate this pump manually, so that way you're not stuck uh, out at the campsite with your jacks down. Right here is your propane quick connect. I like that they actually mounted it in this nice little compartment rather than just having it underneath. It makes it much easier to access. That way you can plug your favorite grill in and not have to bring any green bottles with you. And then once again, more storage right back here. You'll see again, Rotocast, a light. This, this is actually really cool. This is the essentially brain box for your Schwintech slide system. So in the event that it fails, you can actually push this button six times right here and it will tell you what is wrong with it. Uh, or you can actually disconnect a couple wires right there and actually push this entire slide in if you have you know, a couple uh, strong people that are willing to do it. But uh, I like the fact that it does give you easy troubleshooting right there. It will flash that code. Also, you have the valve right here. This is uh, your one inch drain valve for your fresh water tank. So if you're wondering where that drains out at, that will be the location. Painted bumper on here. So again, you know, trying to keep that streamlined look. Also, because it is painted, they put the grip strip right here so you don't slip and you know, slip on here if it's wet, trying to climb onto the ladder. But it does have the rear mounted ladder so you can climb up on the roof. Backup camera right there is built into that rear tail light. You can see that. So that way, you know, again, as you're backing up, you can see what's behind you, making sure you're not going to hit anything. Rear fuel fill, this can be pretty handy as well. The reason I like this is even though it is kind of, you know, to one side more than the other, uh, even if you have to, if you pull up to the pump, a lot of times if you're close enough, you can actually reach and fill from the other side. So it does make it a little bit easier uh, to be able to fill at a gas station because, you know, I know for me especially, uh, that, that's kind of one of the, the toughest parts about driving a Class A is in that crowded tight space, trying to maneuver around the cars to get to a gas pump. So that can make life a little easier. Right back here is your hitch, 8,000 pound hitch on here, folks. You need to do some towing. This hitch will definitely allow you to do some of the heavy duty towing. Coming around to the off door side. So more storage right there. Open this guy up and you have access to your wet bay. So you'll see your outside shower right here. Uh, and again, that does have hot water access. You have black tank flush so you can wash out the black tank. Termination right here with both your black and gray tank valves. Of course, there's a light in there. This is cool too. You have your holding tanks. What you'll notice is they have this outside panel. If you take this panel off, you will see your probes, which are for your tank sensors. So that way, if you need to replace them, it is much easier to access here on the Freedom Traveler than on a lot of other motorhomes. If you have city water, you'll want to put that right in there. 
cable TV inlet, and then your 30 amp detachable power cord will plug in there. As I mentioned, just like on the other side, the back of the water heater blends in. And then if we come right up here a little ways, your Cummins Onan 4000 watt generator is housed right here. That will power everything in the coach for you, including your AC and microwave. Again, making it a little more self-sustainable. And then the thing we love about Class A's is storage, storage, storage. You'll see another brain box. That is for this slide right here, which just like the other one also has a slide out top around there. And the last thing I want to show you folks is right here, which of course is the propane tanks. You're wondering where to fill it at. That's the place. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Thor Freedom Traveler A27. If you're interested in this Class A and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.